Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So in a few hours, I'm going to be leaving my apartment and hopping on a flight to California for the next four or five days. And before I leave, I wanted to do a quick travel essentials video. Packing gives me so much anxiety. I always, always overpack or I overpack and yet still somehow forget something that's crucial that I need as far as like an article of clothing goes or like a toiletry product goes I always end up having to buy something once I'm at my destination but my carry-on game is strong so today I'm gonna be showing you all the things that I bring in my like personal bag and I'll also show you the bag that I'm using for this trip because I think it's great um, it's by Everlane and I'm super obsessed with their bags right now I own two of them so without further ado let's jump into my travel essentials okay, so you probably hear people all the time say that you should like right before your plane is landing like 20-30 minutes before put a like a sheet mask on because planes are notorious for drying out your skin so I always make sure I have some kind of moisture or like something to you know replenish everything that the plane is taking away while I'm in flight but this go round I'm not doing a paper mask or a sheet mask I am doing a new mask that I picked up from Ulta by Pacifica whose products I love if you watched any of my favorites I think there's been at least one Pacifica product in every favorites video I'm trying out their wake up beautiful super hydration sleepover mask so this mask is technically like an overnight mask like one you would put on before you go to bed but it's the same thing as slathering my face full of this goodness and then letting the plane do its thing and when I land I will still be glowy and dewy and relaxed and not look like that episode of Spongebob where he got the suds and it also is aromatherapy it smells like it smells like Dead Sea Minerals. Like, have you ever, if you've been to like a mall and there's those little kiosks and they always try to sell you those Dead Sea Minerals lotions, it kind of smells like that, but only a little bit better. Very soothing. Like, I could definitely, I would call this a relaxing smell. So I will be slathering this on my face around like an hour or so into my flight. It's about a five to six hour flight to California. Um, so around hour two, I'll probably start putting this on. And then when I land, I will be good to go. Equally as important as moisturizing the skin on your face is taking care of your lips because landing with chapped lips is not cute. So I also make sure I always have some kind of chapstick in my bag that I can easily get to. This is the Smith's Rosebud, Rosebud Solve, which is one of my favorites. Um, it leaves my lips super moisturized and before I leave I will make sure that I exfoliate my lips really well so that there's no like dead skin or anything or any chappedness there and I will be all set when I land. So now that we've hydrated our skin we have to hydrate our bodies so I always make sure that I have a water bottle with me when I'm flying. I have a water bottle with me almost anytime I leave my house to be honest and you can take an empty reusable water bottle with you to the airport as long as there is no liquid inside. TSA will not take your precious water bottle and you should be good to go. You can fill up once you're there like go to the food court. Um, avoid having to pay like six dollars for any water that's bigger than like the little like kid size ones and um, I like these I like these metal water bottles because they leave your water super super cold forever without like sweating or getting anything wet in your bag and you can just kind of put this into the backpack and not have to worry about it. But like I mentioned I feel like everyone always gets this like post flight cold. It happens to me sometimes when I travel if I'm not paying attention to what I'm putting in my body while I'm out in the world so I want to make sure that I always have something to kind of balance out any of the bad decisions that I'm making while I'm away so I always make sure I throw some emergency and Zycam in my bag these are major keys emergency, Zycam dynamic duo so when you get on the plane I feel like there's always without a doubt someone who's sneezing or coughing or clearly sick who should not be traveling with other people. Take the Zycam. Avoid getting sick. It works really well. I used to never take this and then my boss started taking it when everyone in our office started getting sick and she's the only one that didn't get sick and that was all I needed to see. So I travel with this now and it's so, so good. It's a nasal spray but they also make, I think, pills and like dissolvable tongue lozenges if that's your thing. It's not my thing but it shortens your cold symptoms it definitely helps if you're getting sick to just like ward off any of that bad stuff and then emergency is just like a nice little dose of vitamin c before you leave it works really well for me i have like the regular orange flavor this is the cranberry this is the cranberry pomegranate why can i not say that word 
This is the cranberry pomegranate flavor, which I really like. Um, and it's like a little fizzy vitamin C drink, and it helps to make sure that, you know, you're just fortified against whatever demons are in that plane with you. The longer the flight, the more antsy I think I get. And there are two things that I use to keep myself distracted on flights. The first is not going to be a surprise to anyone. It's a book. I usually take at least one book with me when I travel. I'm leaving in I think like three hours and I don't even know which books I want to take yet. You know I'm taking this one for sure. I usually take two. This one's definitely coming but I always have a book with me when I travel. You have six hours on a plane. You can read a whole book in six hours. So if you're trying to like make a debt in your reading list, you want to make sure that you can clearly show the person sitting next to you that like you're not really down for the conversation you're here to like just get on this plane and get off open your book people don't really disturb me when I'm reading like there's no awkward small talk so I'll be taking this book by Robin Hobb and probably another book I usually travel with paperback books just because they're so much lighter you don't want to be weighed down you're already carrying like a suitcase and probably like your backpack or whatever so keep it light stick with the paperback this one's even a mass market so it's a little bit smaller it won't take up a ton of space but if you are not into physical books I also make sure I always have um, a few audiobooks on download or borrowed from my library so that I have options, you know, like sometimes I just don't feel like holding a book. I just want to lay with my eyes closed and listen and maybe even fall asleep to the sound of a book. So I always have a book saved on either Audible or Hoopla or Overdrive, which are two apps that connect to your library um, that allow you to check out ebooks and audiobooks for free via your library and access them right on your phone. Just make sure that before you leave your house while you're still on Wi-Fi, like before you even head to the airport, you download the book to your phone so that while you're on the plane, you, do, you can actually access it because there will not be Wi-Fi there. In the odd chance that I do not feel like reading when I'm on a plane, that usually happens when I sit down and realize that I'm actually like exhausted and I'm not even going to make it probably past takeoff before I'm asleep, I will just turn some music on. So I usually have two different types of playlists. I have one that's literally just a plain emoji because I just listen, I throw any good song into it and that is what I listen to when I am on, I'm looking for it, when I am on a plane. And it has just like a bunch of different music, like new songs that I'm into, whatever it's like the song of the moment of my heart right now, it's in there. I also just would download like one of those random Spotify like guided med meditation or like soft instrumental um, playlist because sometimes you just want something to like be background noise while you sleep. So something that doesn't have any words or lyrics, just really soothing instrumentals that's like gonna lull me to sleep. Sometimes you need that, so I will make sure I have one of those downloaded as well. Just major key, download your playlist. Like, it's so annoying when you get on a plane and you're ready to just listen to music and then you realize you haven't downloaded anything and you're just going to sit in silence for hours and hours, probably next to a snoring stranger. If I don't, so if I don't want to listen to music or listen to an audiobook or read, then that probably means I want to hear one of my favorite podcasts. So I make sure to download a few episodes of those too. When I'm traveling, I use the Spotify app to listen to my playlist just so I can have everything in one app. Um, the Apple Podcast app, you can download them, but I've, it's a little bit messy to me. Like The whole podcast app experience is a little bit messy to me, and I wish they would fix that interface. But yeah, most of my favorite podcasts are also available on Spotify, so I'll just find those, pick a few episodes, and download usually like a political one, a funny one, and then something that's more like lifestyle-y or career-oriented, like Second Life or... Um, Bad on Paper or Pod Save America, like something like that, Keep It by Ira Madison. One of those will probably end up in my downloads and if I need to just like kill an hour, I'll listen to an episode like right before we land if I'm like done reading or I just woke up, something like that. All of these things are for not if you don't have headphones, so make sure that you have your headphones and that if they are wireless they are fully charged. I recently just got AirPods, I cannot believe I ended up buying these headphones, I never thought I would own them, but now that I do I I really really like them um, super convenient I mean I wish the case was just like not a tic tac can but yeah they're convenient so I made sure these are fully charged the case and the actual airpods I'll pop these in make sure the case stays in like a little pocket in my bag so I don't lose it on the flight phones charge them bring them carry them 
If you have a longer flight, you'll probably need to get some work done or you might have some time to like brainstorm or get your thoughts out. So I always try to make sure that I also have a notebook with me when I'm traveling just because you never know when inspiration will strike and you don't want to miss it. So any like notes or ideas or things that pop into my mind, I make sure I jot them down and then I can flesh them out while I am on the ground. I don't tend to take my laptop out while I'm traveling just because it's so, such a tight space. I like to kind of be more stretched out when I'm on my laptop. If I have to get work done, obviously work will get done, but usually I'm just a notebook and pen, jot it down, work on it later kind of person when I'm traveling. So a few other things I always make sure that are in my bag when I'm traveling. I throw my makeup bag in my backpack just because sometimes even when you do carry on, they will make you last minute check your bag and I just want to make sure that I can like pull it all together if I need to and something gets separated from me or they have to take longer to get my bags to me. I don't have to worry about showing up at my destination and looking like I've just been disheveled and traveling. I always put all of my chargers in my bag, my camera charger, my laptop charger, my phone charger my charger for my headphones everything comes in my backpack with me it's just easier to know it's all in one spot and like I said you get delayed something happens I know I can like pull up at the gate take out all my chargers plug everything in charge up get work done no problems easy peasy keep your wallet and your boarding pass and any ticketing information in whatever front pocket of your bag that you can I do not recommend putting that in like a pouch or like a little like bag or something and putting it in your bag because you will be scrambling. There are a few times during the airport process where you need to have your ID readily available, your boarding pass readily available, and you don't want to have to be the one holding up lines or anything. I also tend to keep an extra pair of socks in my backpack just because if I wear a sandal or like a slide off shoe that doesn't require a sock to security and then they make you like take off your shoes to walk and stand in the scanner, I just do not want to put my bare feet on that. It's just no. Alright guys, leave your travel essentials in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you bring when you're on the go, out and about, taking flights. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I post new videos every single week. All of my social media are below in case you'd like to follow me elsewhere. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!